Today, we want to share a really exciting demo that showcases the NP7, the seventh generation of Fortinet's network processor and its IPsec VPN performance. First, let's take a quick look at some of the key capabilities, and the first of which is Suite B, AES GCM support, 128 and 256 bit. Another unique capability is support for Elephant flows within the IPsec VPN. Elephant flows are typically high bandwidth flows which are long lived and some examples are data replication between sites or VM migration. And last but not least is also ESN which is extended sequence number support. Originally, sequence numbers for IPsec VPN were defined as a 32-bit number. But as performance has increased for a lot of devices and hardware to about 100 gigabits per second or about 150 million packets per second, what it means is that the 32-bit sequence number can easily be exhausted in about 30 seconds. Given that we need to rekey every 30 seconds if this were the case, it is not really practical and hence the extended sequence number was introduced, which is a 64-bit sequence number. This is supported by hardware in NP7, which would give even better performance. For today's demo, we are really excited to show off one of the key use cases where NP7 is used to enable hyperscale data center replication. This is a key unique case where we are pushing large amounts of traffic across IPsec VPN tunnels to simulate the data center replication. Let's go ahead and take a look at the demo now. Firstly, for this test, we are not just using large packets. We are using iMix traffic, which is about 58% of small packets at 70 bytes, 33% of mid-sized packets at 594 bytes, and 8% at 1518 bytes. Given that iMix consists of a large percentage of small packets, in general, for many platforms without ASICs, the handling of this type of traffic is very performance impacting and performance intensive because CPU has to be used or crypto engines. What we're trying to highlight here is the performance and low latency in this case, even with performance intensive traffic by using NP7. The black screen in the middle shows an SSH session to our FortiGate 4200F and no session is established yet. As we are starting the test, we want to pay special attention to the green box in the middle, which is the GUI for the 40 gate 4200F that we are running the test on. The middle box Elephant VPN shows the bandwidth of the encrypted traffic and on the right hand side monitors the CPU on the 40 gate as all of this IPsec VPN traffic is accelerated by the NP7 we are not going to see any CPU utilization. The test is starting and the traffic is ramping up and we are going to be able to hit about 110 gigabits per second. The VPN tunnel list shows you that anti-replay is enabled. And as you can see from the middle, there is no CPU utilization. We are using AES 256 bit and the VPN is called the Elephant VPN running Ike version 2. From the bandwidth statistics, you can see the Elephant VPN monitors the encrypted traffic. From the tester's perspective, which is at the bottom, you can see the layer 1 traffic is 55 gigabits per second bidirectional traffic and a total of 57.5 gigabits per second of encrypted traffic. And what is the most unique here is from the Diaxis session list, you can see we are only running one session which means all of this traffic is encrypted on the single tunnel and totally offloaded by NP7. This is the unique feature that we really wanted to highlight here. All of the traffic encrypted in a single tunnel with zero packet loss and no out of sequence frames. In addition to the test that we showed earlier with iMix traffic, which really gives you a good idea of the IPsec VPN performance, of different types of packet sizes across the VPN tunnel, I also wanted to tell you more about large packet, which is more symbolic of something that would be seen on an elephant flow. In this case, we are able to get up to 192 gigabits per second with 200 gig QSFP28 interfaces, almost close to the line rate. 
The other key things here are also that we can achieve this performance with extremely low average latency of 13 microseconds and jitter as well. This is something that will definitely be a game changer, especially as many companies move towards teleworking with increasing needs for IPsec VPN and users increasing it in tremendous rate. I hope you enjoyed the demo today and thank you for your time.